everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome back to another episode of our Scuffed Beginner Friendly Tutorial Series. Today we are up to... I cannot speak today. I cannot. <laughs> today we are episode... Upsode? <sighs> Welcome back! Welcome back to another episode of our Scuff Beginner Friendly Tutorial Series. Today we are up to episode 11. Last time we focused on our body X angles, so our side to side. And today we're going to be focusing on our body Y angles, so our up and down. In today's video, we will briefly go over what we discussed in our previous video because we'll be using the same warped formers as our body X angle. There'll be a brief discussion on the parameter that we'll be using. We will then start with warping our booba on our body angle Y parameter. We then move on to the arms and also the torso. We then rig the neck as well as the head. And then we move on to the skirt as well as the top. We will then go over our physics and scene blending settings. After that, we work on perspective. So our perspective angles will be like when we're looking up, our head will get smaller. When we're looking down, our head will be getting bigger. And we do that for each item. And finally, after that, we will synthesize corners for our X and Y angles for our body. Let's start off with a brief discussion. Hello! Okay, let's get started. So, the last video, we worked on body X, which looks something like this. Um, just ignore the skirt for now. <laughs> I, I will do a separate video specifically on the skirt. So, in the last video, I created a bold toggle. So, we also rigged in our boobs, and our arms, and our torso. For body X. So today we're going to be working on body Y. So we're going to be using the same deformers as body X. So let's grab those now. So I have just grabbed those warp deformers that we made in the last video. If you haven't seen that video I recommend you checking it out. We went over how to create these warp deformers with some tips on the order that they need to be in parameters and keyforms. So let's just select on body Y and create three keyforms. This parameter is a parameter that I've created. It's body Y, negative 30 to positive 30. So it's not the default Live2D parameter. We've created a new one because we're going to be using augmented physics again. Body Y booba angle. So just like our other tutorial, we're going to be starting on the boobers because they are the closest object to us. So let's just grab them now. Okay, so for this warp deformer, I've just changed it to Bezier division number, 4 to 2. Or you could do 4 to 3, depending on how big your boobers are. You have one of these Bezier divisions in the middle of your warp deformer, and then you have one inside each sphere. So there's one here, the green, and then there's one here. Okay, so the idea is that negative 30 is going to be when we're looking down and positive 30 is going to be when we're looking up. So let's drag that down to negative 30. And we're just going to drag these down like this. And you want to create almost like a V or a U shape. just keep playing around with it and adjust it to the look that you like. I'm going to adjust this Bezier edit type to smooth 3 or smooth all. And once you're happy with the general shape, you can just go in to 
edit the finer details so i'm grabbing the honey i'm adding three keyforms and i'm also gonna drag this down a little bit as well so you can see that it just gives it some extra movement So we're going to do the opposite now, we're going to drag it up to positive 30 and we're going to angle our boobers upwards. And then when you're happy with the general shape again, let's grab that honey and I'm going to drag it up a little bit. grab these and I think when it goes up I want these to move down and we can adjust that later but let's just work on our arms now body Y arm angle this will look funny initially but when you think about looking down the round of your back will move upwards so our arms are also going to move upwards and then the opposite way, when we look up, the round of our back is going to move down, and so too will our arms. Body wide torso angle. So let's just grab our torso now. Let's line this up here. I could probably glue the arms to the torso but I like having the freedom of movement for now. Okay, so you're looking down, now looking up. Sorry, my cat is meowing in the background. <laughs> so yeah, looking up, looking up, looking down. And I'm going to grab these, the under booba parts again, and I'm actually going to lengthen them. And let's grab our booba, and you'll see that this goes up too high, so we can just squash that down a bit more. So you can see this kind of illusion that we're going for. I like to think of it as an arrow pointing upwards when you're looking up and then an arrow pointing downwards when you're looking down. Whatever is going to be up top when you're looking down is going to be bigger and this is going to be squished more and vice versa when you're looking up this part up here is squished more whereas this part is extended more. Body wide neck angle and let's fix up our neck now. We've got that kind of illusion going on. Body Y head angle. Let's grab our head for the next part and when we look down our head is gonna kind of tilt down a little bit. So that is the look that we want. Body Y skirt and top angle and now I'm going to do the same for the skirt. We're going to create that downward facing arrow. And you can do the same for looking up, upwards facing arrow. And now let's work on our torso.
Okay, so let's just fix up those shadows. So when you're looking up, there'll be more shadow visible. And when you're looking down, the shadow will be less visible. physics menu settings. Um, so I created these parameters body delay x and body delay y. So let's add a group. Let's call this one body y physics augmentation and go ok. Let's add angle y and angle z. Like so, set the effectivity to 100, angle to 10, angle z to 10, we're going to change this one to angle and this one to position, let's change it to 20. Okay, let's add our pendulums, so let's go 8.5, shaking 0.8, reaction could be 1.5, and let's set this to negative. 35, positive 35, and then 25, negative 25. And then go to our output settings in here. We're going to add in that empty parameter that we have not rigged on. We've just called it body delay y. Set scale to 30. And now to finish off setting up the delayed augmented physics. Let's just add another group, duplicate this one. And we're going to go body y delay. So body y delay that we just created. Let's change our input to body delay y. Set effectivity to 10 for z. We're going to change these to 30, these to 20. change the duration to 10 and now go to our output settings we're going to add the parameter that we rigged on body y which we rigged on this parameter okay set scale to 30 and you can see we are starting to get that movement let's try increase the scale So that is our body away set up in our physics scene blending settings. Um, now what we need to do is we need to synthesize those corners between X and Y. Perspective angles. I'm going to now select on the head. So let's grab all of our head items underneath the org angle Z rotation deformer. Create a warp for this. Let's go with org body XY enlarge. Create. I'm just going to shift this so that it's in the center. Let's create those keyforms. So when you go down, make the head slightly bigger. And then when you go away, hold shift alt, make it slightly smaller. So it looks like you're leaning away and then you're leaning forward and you can do the same for other things as well like the let's try the booba Let's do it with our skirt now. If you look down, your hips are moving away, so the skirt can move smaller. And looking up, 
the skirt's going to be bigger. Do the same for the top. Synthesizing corners. Okay, so let's just link these to uh, select. And this is where you would just better go up here and select on synthesize corners and go OK. Make sure that it's body X and body Y selected. And your corners will be synthesized, you'll be all good to go. Okie dokie, so I have just finished rigging in all these extra keyforms just to make it a bit tidier. So this is what it looks like. Negative. I will go back into it and make it a little bit better later on, but like this bit here, but yeah, I ended up linking them and doing uh, extended interpolation so that uh, that's what all these little blue dots are. It just makes it a bit smoother. So let's go into modeling. General reflection. I'm going to toggle on my bolt here. There we go. And this is what it looks like. We have not yet done the hips. I will probably redo the skirt when I do the hips. Uh, we haven't done the legs either. So I've just done the upper body today. So that's the X, and that's the Y. I do need to clean it up a bit. Yeah, that is pretty much it for the general edit. I will go back in later and touch it up. But yeah, uh, this is without physics as well. So you can see that if you add a delay to the augmented physics, there is a little bit of a bounce there, which is quite nice. Um, and you can adjust that with the shaking and also the duration, depending on what look you're going for. Uh, for example, you up to the shaking, 0.85, or if you went 10 with duration, it's very bouncy. <laughs> so I'm gonna reduce that back down. X and Y. Woo, let's go. Physics references. I'm just going to chuck here some screenshots of the physics settings that I use now. Just so that uh, you can come back to them or pause the video and use them for reference. Summary and outro. A better. Thank you so much for watching today's video, I really appreciate you. Let me know if you have any questions or any tips down below. Today we just covered the basics of our body Y angle. In our next video we'll be covering something spicy, we'll be going over our hips physics. And we'll discuss using glue. In our future videos we'll be going over our booba physics, as well as our arm physics. We'll also rig our skirt to be like this, and our thigh physics, also our legs, like the body Z step. And we'll rig our tail, we'll do some more animations like the hand wave, the mug sip, all of that fun stuff, so stay tuned. Make sure you grab some water, grab some food, put on some comfy clothing, and look after yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day or night. Bye bye! Thank you so much for watching! Bye!